Hey guys, it's your girl Audrey back with another video. Um, today we're going to do a first impressions on a lot of products that I had shown you guys in my last video. So if you want to see how I feel about these products, just keep on watching. I have here my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Um, this isn't my review on this because I've already tried it. My first impressions on this because I already tried it. This is my Morphe sponge. Um, yeah, so it's already wet. And what I'm going to do is going to take this flat side first. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. It's like loving this. It's a little baby. It's the baby version of the Shape Tape Concealer. And I have this in the color, where is it? Light medium. Give me some coverage. Give me some coverage. So I'm just going to take the sponge again and use that side, the pointy side. Okay, yep, I'm gonna have to get the bigger one. I knew it, I knew it. Okay, so what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna take that concealer and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and I'm going to carve out my brows, make them more defined. I also have a new brush. This is from Morphe, it's the M. 213. So I'm just going to take that right there and I'm just going to carve out. Okay, now that that's done, let's jump into the contour. I'm just going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Contour Palette. These two colors right there. The thing we're trying out today is from Flower. And this is the Miracle Glow Set and Finishing Powder. And then, this is a huge package for this little much product. Like it's got this little um poof thing. And then I have to okay. So I'm gonna take this. Out. Oh, oh! I was just trying to see if they had the same uh, smell. So what I'm gonna do is, so what I'm gonna do is gonna pop this on, give it a little shake it a shake, pat that down, and then yeah. So there's the color. So I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just going to press it on. Let's see. I hope I didn't, I hope I don't mess up my, uh, what I just did. Oof. Okay. I'll just pat it in. Okay. Ooh, I see it. Mmm. I like, I'm liking, I'm liking, I'm liking. We're gonna go straight to the eyes. And I have this Wet n Wild, not a basic peach palette. I'm gonna take this top color, transition color right there, and I'm gonna put that all over on my top of my lid. My top lid. I'm gonna take my air spun and my sponge, and I'm just going to put that right underneath. to catch, so it can catch any fallout. I'm gonna take this orange color right here. And we're gonna do this as our transition color as well. I am going to use my Morphe 
Jaclyn Hill palette in the color Dark Magic. And we are going to use Busted. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it right in my crease. What we're going to do is take our concealer and we're just going to carve your carve out the eyelid, kind of clean it up. Now we're going to go in with the light blue color here in this Wet n Wild palette. And I'm just going to put that right in there. I'm going to put this right on the outer corner. I'm going to bring it like kind of towards the middle. But I'm going to leave this rest out. I also have this um, new product that I have from Makeup Revolution and it's called the Flawless Foil. And I got this color here in the color Unicorn Foil. And it comes with this Intensify Primer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit on my finger, like maybe even like a half a drop. If it comes out, it's getting a little wet, a little wet. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on the inner, just a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to take the foil. And I'm just going to put that right on top with my finger. Hopefully we don't mess it up. Oh, so pretty. I feel like a unicorn. unicorn. Oh, no. Not feeling how this product is going on. It's like getting a little blotchy. You try to put some, uh, try to uh, blend it in. Out of all four of the foils that I got, I'm definitely saying that this is the little hardest, like the hardest one to, uh, cause like I ended up just swatching it on the back of my hands and I've got to say like this one was definitely the hardest to swatch and like blend out so I think that's what's going on here okay so now I got this liquid liner from Catrice Cosmetics and it's this nice blue liner right here and the color Blue it, blue lit, like bullet, but blue lit for my Valentine. Okay, so what we're going to do is put this liner up on the top and just line it up. So now that we got the liner on, I am going to go in with my black liner and I'm just going to put that on the top waterline. So I'm going to go in with my top lashes. I'm going to use the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara. For the bottom line, I am going to take a very, very angled brush 
And we're gonna use that busted color in the Morphe, the Volt palette. And we're just going to take that and put that right close to our waterline, like super close, like pretty much on it. And then we'll just take a smudging. So I thought that I would do this look without any black liner, but I think we need it. So I'm using the Sephora waterproof black liner. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild highlighting powder in the color Blossom Glow and I'm just going to put that right in my tear duct. I also have for my bottom lashes, I am going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara in the color Very Black. And the reason why I ended up getting this one was because it's a lot smaller. And I'm just hoping that it does its job. Almost done, almost done. I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush in the color Bellissimo Bronze. Let's take our seam highlighter powder and our highlighting brush. Come on, come through. Um, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay in the color Rose Fard for my lip liner. I have the Revlon, doesn't even tell me, oh, Revlon Super Luscious Lip Gloss in the color Rosy Future. I love this lip gloss, love it. It's not sticky whatsoever. And it has like little specks of glitter in it. Okay guys, what do you guys think? I feel like this is like a nice winter glitter wonder January look here. Okay, so here's my final thoughts. The sponge. Killed it. Love it. Look at my, look at me. Do you see me? I don't even look like I got makeup on. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see what else. The Tarte Shape Tape Concealer Bomb. Like, I don't even look like I'm tired. Do I look like I'm tired? No. Flower. Miracle Glow Set and Finishing. Love it also. Definitely gave me that glow I was looking for. Um, let's see. So this wet and wild palette here. It is not bad at all. Like these colors definitely showed up. They were a little bit hard to blend out, but that's okay. I mean, unless you are really new at makeup and you don't really know how to blend out as much at the moment, then maybe I'll try something like a little bit different. Um, like just like that uh, Morphe the Vault palette with Jackson Hill. Um, that one's a good, a nice blending palette for beginners. Overall, I like it. I love it. It's good. Definitely did the job. This liner. Do you see that liner? 
like i love it i love it the foil i'm gonna have to say that was a little hard i'm not gonna lie it was a little hard to blend out um whether it was with my fingers or with a brush really hard to uh blend out so i don't know i'm gonna give it another try but i think i think it was more this color than all the rest of the colors but we'll see the highlighting powder best damn highlighting powder for a drugstore brand. Best. The mascara for my bottom lashes, it did justice. I mean, it did what it was supposed to do. Lastly, the blush. I love it. More or less, I probably love it better when I have a like nice glowing tan in the summertime, but overall, I loved everything that I got so far, so... Let me know what you guys think. If this is something you guys are interested in doing. Me doing like first impressions. Or should I just skip the whole face and go straight to the eyes. I'm definitely going to try to have at least two videos a week. Two. At least. Um, yeah. So I do have a full time job. I do have a. Uh, almost three-year-old daughter like bear with me i love you guys i'll talk to you guys real soon bye